Hello, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Now, we want to learn how to identify face on XRD data. So, first, we click the software, Diffraction EVA. <coughs> okay. Now, we can see the software panel. We have three panel here, data command, data command, data tree, and data properties here. If you open the software uh, blank like this, you can open the panel using this tool. One, two, and three. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to identify the face of XRD, you must import the file. I suggest using use this button, not use this button. Okay, use button import. Now we click button import. And then we go to your XRD. For example, I save your XRD data uh, in desktop. Open the XRD data. Okay, you can see the view of XRD. Okay, now how to identify? Before that, you can see the properties of the XRD pattern right here. You can see uh, name of your XRD pattern, XRD data. Uh, and then you can see the uh, range of angle XRD you use, step size, uh, time, and parameter we use in XRD instrument, yeah, uh, X X resource, uh, wavelength, um, power. If, avail if available, you can see the number here. Okay, so that's all. So, how to use this software, identify face XRD. You must go to, you must click the name of XRD, XRD name, your sample name. If you click another name, you cannot see the the panel tool okay you must click uh, sample name and then you you can see the tool right here and then you can see the search mesh uh, button right here and then you just click this button and then you can see this box okay <coughs> okay when you see this box, you can see four button here: chemical filter, database filter, candidate list, and selected candidates. What you should do now is going to chemical filter and select your element. Okay. Before you select your element, make sure you select all element in red color, discarded color. So how to do that? You just right click this box right here and select all and then right click again change to discarded color red color or you can uh, shortcut control D okay now all in red color and click again to make uh, the selected not available okay so now you can select your element for example you have XRD data and then you prepare the sample you know what comp what element you use what chemical you use so should be you know the element for example for this element you use silica oxygen, hydrogen, 
if you put uh, alcohol or water inside your sample you should prep you should declare also for example uh, water so h2o so click hydrogen in and oxygen right alcohol cho blah 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 so click c h o and so on okay now in this element uh, we use uh, calcium calcium sodium magnesium aluminium uh, maybe carbon uh, iron uh, titanium mm, zinc okay something like that so i suggest you use uh, gray color gray color right okay this is gray color okay don't use green or blue so i suggest you use gray color <coughs> okay done now you going to database filter okay from database filter you can see two database right here so i suggest you click pdf2 and then uncheck uh, crystallography open database because this database uh, more uh, information more complete more complete than this free version this is free version this is uh, uh, original version okay so uh, now we review this database and then you can see the selected uh, button right here for easier way you can check all box if you want to uh, choose uh, certain or special uh, compound maybe you can choose right here so no need to check all for example this sample is mineral so you can check mineral only so this is make uh, software easier to detect what is your compound if you don't know never mind you can see, check all uh, box and then let uh, box all check right like this so done now you go candidate list go to candidate list and then you just click search uh, when you click search the suggestion of xrd phase will come out right here okay so we can see now i click <coughs> Okay, so first suggestion from software is quartz. Okay, you can see the suggestion from pattern, database pattern, you can see is quite good. Right? You can see all, uh, all pattern match with your peak. However, you still have unknown peak, not this discover okay so don't worry so you can choose quartz as your first compound and then you can search the other peak maybe as your second compound okay now you click for the first suggestion okay maybe have some question is it okay i click this button so the answer is if the peak red the red peak uh, match with your pattern so no issue right here so you can see the the quartz uh, pattern formula 
and crystal system almost same not almost same uh 100 same but for uh, lattice parameter little bit different you can see a parameter 4.916 right here this is 4.914 so which one so better use the star level so for this issue i choose the first one or second one so no issue if you click this one okay this one also okay okay for example i choose this one the first one okay now you still have unknown pick so you must search down okay better you use a keyboard uh, to move this uh, selected blue color okay so use the arrow right here okay going down a little bit now you can see the blue color is still quas so no need to select because this is same sample so now going down Okay, now you can see the pattern is select, uh, uh, was selected, but the, the blue color pick, uh, pattern not really match with your pick. This pick, little bit shifted to left. This pick, this pattern, little bit shift to right. So, this pattern not really good for your XRD pick. So now what you should do, you try to search another pattern. Okay, now you can see this is another suggestion. This is calcite. You can see this is pattern is good. This pattern also good. This pattern also good, but the pattern little bit higher than your pick. So that's not the big issue. Okay, you can adjust the the blue color a uh, little bit down. The issue is if the peak shifted to right or left, so that means the peak of pattern is not really good. So now this is calcite for the second sample. Now you can see still have unknown peak right here. So you can select the another. Okay, now it's green color. So select the another for the second sample. Same calcite, so no need to select. So uh, try to going down. No. Okay, now is the this is third compound corundum because you can see the pig is quite good match with your pattern right so you can click now you still have unknown pig right here so you can going down wow Okay, if you cannot search the name and the pattern and you know the face should have in inside the sample, maybe you can search by name. If you know, if you don't, if you don't know, you still must use this technique uh, search one by one if you know the name you can search by name right here for example i i guess this pick is for dolomite so i try to search by name i type here uh, dolomite 
dolomite and then I click list okay now we have dolomite uh, list here okay yeah quite good okay this one uh, good match than the others so you click this one as your fourth uh, pick result okay now you can see the uh, the list of your face right here okay so this is how to identify your face Okay, thank you.